Good. Where, where are you now? Uh, this is Tim calling again from the Alberta Enterprise Group. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Organizers sort out last-minute details for Alberta Premier Ed Stelmack's historic trip to Washington. We have set the stage for our Premier. Yep. We have given him the platform, and now it's up to him to deliver. Team Alberta is anxious about a recent bill prohibiting U.S. federal agencies from using dirty oil. Here for damage control, Premier Stelmax desperate to convince Americans that tar sands oil is secure and clean. Washington-based heavy oil promoter Paul Michael Wiebe watches from the sidelines and hopes Alberta rises to the challenge. Canadians have a lot to learn from the American experience. Americans are not afraid of taking a risk. They seek challenge. They are not afraid of failure. The room's buzzing, wondering if Premier Stelmack can win back America. He's no spellbinding speaker, but he has a trump card. China. There's a myth out there that oil sands production comes at uh, a too high an environmental cost. Uh, there are ongoing attempts in some quarters of this country, and of course in ours, to slow down or even stop oil sands production. These uh, attempts don't really reflect reality. Even worse, they could serve to jeopardize this country's energy security at a time when Asian markets are clamoring for oil. Stelmack bets the U.S. will never allow China into its backyard. Shortly after his speech, the U.S. government says tar sands oil is clean enough for them, proving security trumps environment. At least for now. Alberta's market is safe, and America's energy is secure for the next century. But there's still someone out in the cold. The rest of Canada. Prime Minister Harper calls Canada an energy superpower, but what we're doing is exporting uh, oil and gas in the United States, and we have no plans to uh, bring in oil and gas for uh, uh, Eastern Canadians. The main pipelines carrying tar sands crude all point south, feeding the U.S. What's missing is a pipeline to eastern Canada, leaving them to get their oil from insecure places like Iraq, Algeria, and Venezuela. We, in fact, are the most insecure uh, country in the International Energy Agency, even though we have all of this oil.